new at six. People are furious tonight that a man avoids jail time after stealing thousands of dollars from people who thought they were donating to charity. Zachary Noonan tricked those donors by setting up fake charities for wounded veterans, firefighters, even cancer patients. Here's WBZ's David Robichaud. $76,000. That's how much money prosecutors say Zachary Noonan of Lowell admitted stealing from generous people. Woburn Police Chief Robert Farillo told me they caught on to Noonan after a suspicious person came forward with a tip. Several months ago, a citizen approached one of our detectives and indicated that they had donated money to a charity, which upon further research they believed was to be a fraudulent charity. Middlesex DA says Noonan used to work for an advertising company that solicited donations. When he left that job two years ago, he kept his contact list and began collecting money for fake charities. Some of the bogus names he set up? The Jimmy Fund for Kids, Volunteer Firemen, New England Hunger Association, and Northeast Amateur Athletic Union. Unthinkable what people would do to actually rip off charities, uh, mine in particular. Andrew Biggio is a Marine who served in Iraq and Afghanistan. He runs New England Wounded Veterans, one of the organizations Noonan ripped off. I couldn't see how someone sleeps at night uh, stealing from soldiers and Marines and airmen who've lost their arms and legs in, in war. Andrew thinks about the money lost to those vets and is surprised Noonan isn't behind bars. Definitely uh, disappointed there was no prison time involved. Uh, unfortunately, uh, lately that's what I expect. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm happy that they took the approach to, to try to get him uh, jammed up for what, what he's done. After Noonan pleaded guilty to larceny charges yesterday, prosecutors asked for three to five years in prison. But a judge gave him three years probation and ordered him to pay $76,000 in restitution, including $200 a month to New England wounded veterans. In Woburn, I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News.